girls come a long way. They have. And you can you can make it sweet, but you can make it sort of hardcore with a little bit of edge. You can make it sexy. And sexy. So here's the thing. Every spring, I hear the big trend is florals. I know. And I'm like, Every really? Every spring. <laughs> Every spring. It's more to me, it's a total seasonal motif. It's not a trend. What yeah. becomes trendy about florals is how we see them injected and how they kind of morph and change. Mm -hmm. So the style of it, the scale, the colorway, and then the mood of yes. the florals as well. So a lot of people, they think of florals, they think girly. Yeah, they um, do. Sweet. Pristine, precious. Exactly. They can also be very sophisticated. But mm -hmm. I wanted to show something that's caught my attention that I like to call moody floral. It's like drama. It is a little drama for your mama, oh, for sure. Drama for your mama. On a, I yeah, like so it. on a Monday morning. So the one thing that I wanted to, to just address first is that I think when you're following trends, no matter what it is, so mm -hmm. whether it's florals, chevron, no matter what it is, having a neutral backdrop is always key. And Absolutely. not that everybody decorates in black and white. I was just happy. I happen to really dig this look. But it's the perfect example when you invest in the neutrals. All of these items were from IKEA, which I loved. Then you can add in those little pops of color. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to offset the sweet pink with some sexy floral nice. but it's all in how you ingest it so following any trend I've talked about this before on the show my buffet approach if right. you remember so I'm wearing my stretchy pants today for it's the buffet, good for buffet right Go give a little bit of room exactly so I think that it can be overdone mm -hmm. so you either have to do a few little tasters off the buffet or one big statement to follow the trend. Right. So I already have a couple little tasters in the set, such as with Moody Florals. When I'm talking about Moody Florals, it's like this black and white, yeah. very sharp, high contrast, really beautiful. Beautiful. This is just a simple little jewelry tray. Mm -hmm. So you add something like that and take a typical white lampshade yep. and maybe do a little something fun oh, on nice. it to add a bit of drama. So we're not, we're not overpowering anything, right? Did you make that? I did make that. Very good. I'm going to show you how I actually made this later on in the show. That's it's did really, you make your shirt? I did not, but wouldn't you know, <laughs> I probably could have. That's very cool. <laughs> Coming up on Fashion Friday, yeah, how to seriously. make your own shirt. Yeah, so Beautiful. with this, if, if you're looking at a trend and you're thinking, I really like it, but I'm not sure I want to overindulge and you yes. want to sample off that buffet, something like this, you, if you already have a white lampshade, just do a simple technique like this, bring in a couple of small accessories, and then I, you can't underestimate the power of the throat pillow. P p I'm so excited about it. I can't even say it. The so, throat yeah, pillow. It's just a touch. And now you add a little bit touch more. So check uh, this. Add that on your them. chair. This is beautiful. So again, you're at that is buffet. This as well? No, these ones were from Home Outfitters. Nice. You're at that buffet. You're thinking, okay, I want a little nibble more than a little tray, a little dish. So you're going to add a couple of these in. How and angry can we make our husbands? More right? pillows, please. <laughs> these ones are from Urban Garden. Do you want to tuck that one over on the chair? I think it would look sure. great over there. And then when I mentioned about scale and proportion, mm. you, if you want to break it up a little bit, have something a little larger format that can make a true statement. I'm going to swap this Love one that out one. here. Um, also, a little Leanne DIY, which we'll be talking about oh, later. Oh, you're kidding me. Affordable ways. You yes, did a exactly. great job on that. Oh, thank you. And it's and not crunchy. It's no. not crunchy. <laughs> That's cool. I'll have tips for making it not crunchy That's later. That's good. And then at Ikea, I loved this. Now, we, we're starting to get bigger now. We talk big yes. scale. So beyond the throw pillow, this rug from Ikea is in a new collection. I thought was just stunning. It gives you that moody look, but still with a bit of sophistication. It's that flat woven finish with that beautiful neutral backdrop. You can introduce, again, any color trend color with this yes but still keep things kind of like you know sexy and still simple. a little sexy it's you know it's all in the, in the coloring of it the fact that it you've is. got those grays you've got the really dark charcoal at the bottom it gives it a whole different twist totally so here's the thing okay. you want to go really big let's do it let's go really big is I a flower gonna drop there, from the sky well almost better one is going to oh. magically appear I'm gonna turn the oh. lampshade around oh my goodness. Bedroom. Oh my gosh, the headboard the main, wall. The headboard wall. Absolutely. Oh, there isn't anywhere it. that I don't think this couldn't go. That really. is beautiful. So here's the thing with trends. Again, moody florals being one of them. There is that point where you can overindulge and overspend. So you yes. have to be a little conscious of that. But this, this is from a company out of Canada here called A New Wall. They ah. make these incredible murals. They're very affordable. Uh -huh. They customize to the size of your wall, which is fantastic. So you send them your wall dimensions. They will make it for you. This peony design was one in their collection, but you can also send them your own images. But better yet, 
Um, with trends, you might get sick of it after a while. Right. This comes on peel and stick, repositionable paper. So oh. I always say, when you're over it, you can peel it off, put it in another room, oh. take it with you to the next house. For renters who yes. have limitations on painting, put this up as like a great pop of a trend piece. Mm -hmm. And really what I love even most about this is that your wall becomes art. You would never think to put a piece of artwork on this. You don't have this. to put anything on it. And the black and white, again, vibing with everything in the space. And it becomes, again, the play on scale. So we've got big, sm medium, small, simple hits. This is the way to do it. it and totally I think uh, we're so afraid of making that big statement, but this looks the best out of all. Like if it, you want to play with floral, do this. Absolutely. Put it up on the wall. It's amazing. It really is your wall becoming art. That's Gorgeous. your piece of art. What do you think of that wall art? Oh. <laughs>